Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here and welcome back to The Fragrance Well. So today's topic is pretty straightforward. We're gonna talk about some fragrances that are long lasting, or at least they are on my skin. As with anything, when it comes to fragrance performance, it varies from person to person, so don't take these as promises. Matter of fact, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm simply sharing my experiences with these fragrances. So yeah, I've got eight fragrances. <laughs> I had to remember what I had here. Eight fragrances today that are long lasting on my skin, or at least that has been my experience with most of the wearings with these fragrances. And let me also point out that uh, all of these fragrances are ones that I don't necessarily have to spray a lot. Uh, for me to really experience them for a long time. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you do like this content, and remember to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Let's get into it. All right, up first, we got one from the house of Dior. This is Dior Homme Parfum. Dior Homme Parfum. So if you're fortunate enough to have a bottle of this, I think you can agree that for most people, this one definitely lasts a long time. I remember the last time I wore this, it was a traveling day for me, had to catch a couple of flights and there was some delays. So the travel day went even longer than I anticipated, but I was wearing this for my travels. And by the time I got to my hotel later on that evening and well into the night, so to speak, uh, could still pick this up off of my skin pretty easily. And I didn't have to spray it a ton of times. I want to say I probably sprayed it four times. Four to five is typically my usual go-to range when I am not trying to think too hard about it. I just kind of spray it four or five times and go on about my business. I did that for that day. So if you're not familiar with this fragrance, it is an iris fragrance, very rich and sweet and creamy makeup like iris, very powdery as well. S some pretty strong leather accords in this fragrance and kind of a woody base to support it. Very simple, but very rich and strong fragrance. Does not take a lot for this to work. This is a 100 mil bottle. I've heard some people question whether the 75 and the 100 mil has any uh, differences. I can't speak to that. I've only had this version, but what I can say is from a performance standpoint, I haven't had any issues with this one in terms of it lasting as long as at least I've heard most people have with it. So once again, from the house of Dior, this is Dior Homme Parfum. All right, next one's coming from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John, and it is Baccarat Rouge 540, the x -Trate. Baccarat Rouge 540 x -Trate. I don't know if you guys can see it, but can you see all that oil just kind of stained from where the bottle has been sprayed? That tells you right there that the oil concentration is in this is quite high, and I think that lends to why this fragrance lasts, frankly, forever. Now, this one, I have never worn it and not had a long lasting wearing experience. I do want to point out that these are not the only fragrances that I get long lasting wears out of, but uh, out of all the fragrances I have that I've had that experience with, sometimes it does the exact opposite. It can depend on a number of variables. So keep that in mind. But this one, it's always been a long lasting wearing experience. Overall, still smells like this weird cotton candy kind of smell to me, but I love the bitter almond that's added in this one over the Eau de Parfum. Uh, a little bit of spice in there, kind of an amber woody feel to it, lots of ambroxan. Still just a very unique scent that <laughs> still works to this day. Matter of fact, I remember the last time I wore this and frankly, I got tired of it. It would not, I, could, I couldn't stop smelling it. Uh, I only sprayed it a couple of times, but I had a long kind of traveling work day ahead of me, so I was kind of in the car with it and I was just stuck with it. Thought my nose would get tired of it and it just didn't. I just kept smelling it and I'm like, okay, I get it. <laughs> this is a great performing fragrance, but I'm kind of sick of it and I almost couldn't wait to wash it off. But uh, for those of you who you know like fragrances that last a long time, this one does tend to do that pretty well. So once again, from Mason Francis Kirk John, it's Baccarat Rouge 540, the x straight de Parfum. All right, I got another one from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John, and this is Amorous Ohm Extrait de Parfum. Amorous Ohm Extrait de Parfum from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John. I did intentionally pick this one out because I wanted to include a 
overwhelmingly fresh fragrance that is mostly what this is. Along with that freshness, you got a little bit of a sweetness and some spice from cinnamon and a little bit of a slightly balsamic woody feel to it. This one's kind of a critical darling in the community. Those that know about it and like it really, really do love it. And otherwise, it's just not talked about a whole lot. So I do like to give this one some shine. I think it's kind of slept on. Uh, but yeah, this is a good, spicy, fresh, sweet fragrance. So this one I think can work in all temperatures. And because it is also an extrait de parfum, those oils will last a lot longer on your skin, uh, typically. And I do get pretty long lasting wearing experiences out of this one as well. And it's also one I don't have to spray heavy. I have sprayed it heavy before. And frankly, I think it might've just been too much. I was pretty sure I was choking out everybody around me. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. You don't have to spray it like crazy to get that effect. So once again, from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John, this is Amorous Ohm Extrait de Parfum. All right, next one's coming from the house of Nishane, and this is Fan Your Flames. Nishane's Fan Your Flames. Side note, I do have a sample of the new Fan Your Flames X, and I think I need to get that one in my collection relatively soon. That stuff smells really good. So this is a somewhat tropical, boozy tobacco fragrance with a lot of dry woods to support it. Really love this scent DNA. It was my scent of the day a few days ago. I can't even remember what I was doing that day, but all I know is this lasted all day on my skin. Uh, there have been times where I've worn this where I felt like it didn't last as long, but it turns out like later on in the day, I caught like a late whiff of it and I'm like, okay, it's still there. So this is another one I've pretty much always had pretty long lasting wearing experiences with. Really love this scent. I would say it's not necessarily for everyone. You wanna get your hands, uh, get your nose on it first if you're not familiar with it. Or don't hesitate to try the new Fan Your Flames X. That one might be even a little bit easier to wear compared to this one if you're not used to a scent like this. But it is a pretty straightforward tobacco fragrance, not done in that typical designer kind of way. And I'm, that's not a knock against fragrances that do that. But this one, you do have to kind of get your nose on to see if it's something that you might like first. But my wearing experiences uh, have always been long lasting <laughs> wearing experiences with this fragrance. So once again, from the house of Nishani, it is Fan Your Flames. Alrighty, next one's coming from the house of Roja Parfums. And this is Creation E. Roja Parfums, Creation E or Enigma. And let me say, first of all, this is a fragrance I slept on in terms of actually acquiring for a long time. I had sampled it a long time ago, knew I wanted it, and I don't know why it took me so long to pull the trigger other than the price standpoint, but I had bought other expensive fragrances before this one. But I got it now, got a couple of wears in, and every time I've worn it, it has lasted pretty much all day long. Love the smell of this stuff. Has that cola kind of vibe to it, mixing with a lot of spices and sweet accords and a strong base of tobacco. I really enjoy the wearing experience of this one compared to, what have I talked about so far? Compared to a number of the ones I've talked about so far, this one I think goes through the most uh, changes as it dries down. It kind of just peels away the layers almost. Uh, you got all that fizziness and freshness off the top and the spiciness and the tobacco and sweet accords are there. But as it dries down, it kind of simplifies into mostly tobacco with just a hint of that spiciness and that sweetness sitting along with it. Really enjoyable wearing experiences. Uh, those of you who have it already know this one is known to have some pretty good performance and I've definitely had that experience so far. So a good one if you want one that lasts a while, but it is a little pricey. So if you're not familiar with it, sample it first. It might be better for you to get the Parfum Cologne if you don't wanna pay as much as you have to pay for this one. So once again, from Roja Parfums, this is Creation E or Enigma. All right, next one's coming from the house of Ormond Jane and we've got Montebacco in Tense Sivo. Ormond Jane's Montebacco Intensivo. Had this one for some time now, and this is another one. Every time I've worn it, pretty much, it has lasted all day long. Uh, this is a somewhat fresh fragrance. There's some deeper accords in here, but this one's kind of a year-round fragrance, so it kind of captures that fresh category as well, because this one has a very cooling, fresh, spicy, tea vibe to it to kind of accompany that tobacco and dry woodiness that it has. But there's a lot of isogamma super in this fragrance, which kind of simulates uh, cedar wood is kind of the best way I like to describe it. And if you know anything about isogamma super, it's a aroma molecule that is known to add some pretty good longevity to fragrance. It definitely does it with this one. 
So every time I've worn this, it's stuck around all day long. This is a really great fragrance. I haven't gotten my nose on anything else quite like it. There may be some other similar stuff out here, but I think this is a great fragrance. If you haven't gotten your nose on it, definitely check it out. It's one that uh, only kind of some people know about in the community, or at least gets talked about uh, in terms of the fragrance community on YouTube, or at least that I've seen. Really good one, get a sample of this one. I think you guys will like this one if you're not already familiar with it. Once again, from the house of Ormond Jane, this is Montebacco Intensivo. All right, next one's coming from the house of Zerjoff, and this is 40 Knots. Zerjoff's 40 Knots. Personal favorite of mine, this is a aquatic, a very interesting aquatic fragrance that has some very strong ambery accords, a lot of spice to it, a good amount of sweetness. It's just a very unique aquatic fragrance and I think that's why I like it so much because I'm typically not a big fan of aquatic scents. This one has some very interesting listed notes including sea breeze, but it's crazy when you smell it, it does kind of have this sea breeze kind of smell to it. It's very interesting. But all that being said, in terms of what we're talking about for this video, this stuff lasts a long time. Uh, I would imagine most people that have had experience with this fragrance would agree. Uh, mostly what is talked about with this fragrance when I see other people talk about it is the scent profile over how long it lasts. And also the, about the fact that even though it's an aquatic, it can be a little too strong in really warm temperatures. All that being said, the fragrance, every time I've worn it, I've gotten pretty good long lasting wear out of it, as you typically would find with a lot of Zerjoff fragrances. So this one kind of sits in the vein of what you would expect from a Zerjoff fragrance, but yeah, every time I've worn this, gotten plenty of life out of it in terms of the fragrance wear. Long after I sprayed it, later in the day, I can still pick it up off my skin, and another one, I don't feel the need to spray it a ton of times. I can spray it more, but I don't have to. So once again, from the house of Zerjoff, this is 40 Knots. All right, last one on this list. It's gonna be from the house of Prada, and it's Prada Loam Intense. Prada Loam Intense with my big jumbo bottle. Every time I've worn this fragrance, uh, I think there's only one time I've worn this fragrance and it hasn't been for work. So <laughs> interestingly enough, I've always worn it for work. And every time I've done it, the fragrance has been on my skin all day. I can pick it up off my skin easily all day long. And it always surprises me because I always think it's gonna fade away and it never does. And when I say long work days, I'm talking about getting up before the sun even comes up and getting home way late in the evening because of travel associated with the day. And the fragrance is still there easily off of my skin. So this is definitely a long lasting one. Another iris fragrance, which should tell you that, you know, really thick iris fragrances uh, can have the ability to last a long time. This one is supported with a lot of sweetness, uh, probably primarily from some tonka bean or something like that, and has a little bit of a leathery undertone to it, just kind of hiding in the background of it. This fragrance is discontinued in the US market, but you can still find it. And matter of fact, I've seen it pop up on discounters somewhat regularly, uh, regularly recently. So I don't know, maybe some other batches have made their way into the hands of the discounters. And I think it's still being produced in the uh, European markets. I could be wrong, so don't take me my word. Uh, take my word uh, on that. I'm just kind of guessing. But uh, lovely fragrance, and you know, if you can get your hands on it, if you can get a sample of it, matter of fact, if you're not familiar with it, check it out. I think you might enjoy it if you do like uh, sweeter iris fragrances. But yeah, this one definitely uh, has the ability to last a long time. I think for most people. So once again, from the house of Prada, this is Prada Loam Intense. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. I already know most people in the community like fragrances that last a long time, so go ahead and put it down in the comments. What's a fragrance that you have that lasts a long time on your skin, regardless of how many times you spray it, and just about every time you wear it, you know you're gonna get that effect. I appreciate you guys watching all the way into the end. Remember to be well and smell well, and I will see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.